and made Northern lad Rick Astley into an international superstar. Everybody thought this was a black guy from Chicago. 25 years ago, pop producers Stock, Aiken and Waterman launched Unlikely of Stars, Rick Astley. Newton Le Willows, Rick's birthplace, only has one other real claim to fame. It was the first town in the world where someone was killed by a train. Here in this quiet northern social club, Rick's first manager persuaded Pete Waterman to come along and hear his fledgling new act. This is Monks' Social Club, which is at Wollstone at Warrington. And uh, this is a stage uh, that Rick was first seen on by Pete Waterman. Loving Rick's voice, the producers spent over a year nurturing their new act. And in the summer of 1987, they were finally ready to launch the slick sounds of Rick Astley to an unsuspecting public. Suddenly everybody thought this was a black guy from Chicago, and it was a white guy with red hair from Newton the Willows. I mean, and you know, that was the shock. This was the shock. I mean, everybody believed, of course, that you know it was Luther Van Bross doing guide vocals and we were just weren't telling people. It went on uh, BBC Northwest local news programme, and we never looked back. He just went Phew, straight into the charts. Uh, my name's Rick Astley. I've come to go on top of the pops. Oh, fine, right. If you'd like to go over to the studio, Studio One. We found out it was doing top of the pops, and there used to be a, a store called Take Six. In uh, There was one in Kings Road, and there was one in Oxford Street. So we rocked off down there, me and one of the girls, and we bought on this navy blue double-breasted suit. That's what we did top of the pops with. And where are you from? Outside Manchester? Yeah. In the Willows, it's called, just outside Warrington. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. See you on set. All right. Okay, thanks. You can't stop a great voice with a great song. You know, you couldn't you couldn't stop that record. Seven of eight and one. Coming to five. Eight, two, three, four, one. You're no strangers to love. You know the rules and so do I. The track knocked Michael Jackson off the top of the UK charts and stayed there for five weeks. The single repeated the same trick across the globe making number one in 24 other countries, including America. Not only was it a shock to Rick's system, it was a shock to our system as managers. We were working from Latchford Village, above a fancy dress shop that we owned. Now and again, we'd be upstairs, ironing the Pink Panther costume. On the line, you'd have me or Tony talking to somebody in Japan who were doing a multi-million pound deal for, for, for Rick. You know, it was just, it was bizarre. I was with um, at the Hollywood Bowl watching Rick and Whitney Houston. You know, just thought he was so cute. Oh, he was what a love! And that was Rick. You know, that cute little dance he did. Everything was just magic about it. It just worked. Rick Astley's chart success brought the team awards and international attention. But a stroke of luck would give their new record label PWL chart domination.